Hello YouTube, Tom Stepping here. Um, by the way, this is my second time recording it because my camera stopped while I tried to record it the first time. So I'm kind of stressed because I've been recording. I recorded like 10 minutes of video and it all just stopped. Anyway, I'm going to try again uh, and I might shorten it this time. I'm doing a collection update. See, a collection update. <laughs> and I'm going to show you the parts box and I'm going to show you that stuff right there. My parts box. I've got to pull it out again. Anyway, here's my parts box. All right. Here's my Generation 3 stuff. I stripped it down completely. And I do not know how to put it back together because I just took it all apart like really fast. And I only know how to change a fan and not beyond that. So there's no way this is getting back together whatsoever. So if I need a part replaced that's beyond fixing a fan, I'll have to have like the service center do it or something. Here's the transmission. This has nothing in it. Um, here's the Classic 3 bag. I have a parted out Classic 3 in there. All that stuff. <laughs> um, got attachments here, like all the hoses. Here's the stuff. Um, here's some handles. More attachments. Shampooer, bags. More bags. Um, this uh, split second two. Probably from an. This is probably was made with the Ultimate G's, I think, because I can tell by the color. I found it at Ohio Thrift Store for about like five bucks. Works great, but you only use it in the car because it has the car plug. You don't use it in the house. <laughs> okay, to the Kirby's. I'll simplify this a bit. Um, here's my 511 from Adam. It has a 519 handle grip. It has green D80 parts, but it has original belt lifter and trim here. Let's see. <laughs> 1951. 1952 512 from Matt Jones. It has tan trim. It's really shiny. Um, it does have original metal... What am I saying? Original belt lifter, but it's been painted tan. If you look, here's the red. <laughs> black. A brand new black cord. With the newer style prong. That's still the same right there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little stuffy today. Anyway, I've got a... I have a, what is it, a 516 at Grandpa's that goes here. as the original metal fan. From 1956. Um, then I have the 519 from 1959. It is kind of an eyesore, but I'm hoping to get it fixed someday. And maybe acquire some original parts. And get a nozzle. <laughs> but right now it has classic three parts. Um, and it's just... It's in no, still in no condition to work. But it's it's better than it was. Here's my Santronk 7 goes right here. That's at Grandpa's. It has a brand new unused... Um, Lexan fan in there. Well, they don't make Lexan. They make A models. <laughs> Whatever, I like to call them Lexan. Anyway, it's the metal is kind of tarnished, but it works much better now. Um, anyway, D50, really shiny. Um, it has a Lexan fan in there, and it was rebuilt in 1999, <laughs> according to the sticker. Um, I might need to get tan wheels, because it has brown wheels. Off to my classic. This is the... The Kirby I've had the longest out of all of these. Like this is the my this was my second Kirby in my collection. The first one was a G6, but since that's I don't have it anymore. This is the longest one I've had in my collection. <laughs> um, it has a broken well not broken but damaged armature, so I have to get that fixed. Um, my Omega, which is at Grandpa's, goes here. It has a cloth bag from Adam. Um, hopefully I'll get that. Hopefully I'll get that here soon. Um, Classic 3 with a little disposable bag. Um, I put a, a cleaned, I cleaned and put in a, um, an Alexan fan in here because I'm testing the metal fan out for stuff, which will be in the video. My dad's coming down to do the laundry. Here's my Kirby Tradition. 
um, it was rebuilt in 2001. <coughs> it's really nice machine. Um, anyway, sorry, yeah, that's my dad. Um, here's my heritage. Um, I don't know if it was, it wasn't rebuilt, but it's really nice machine. Um, here's my Heritage 2. It's a really good machine. Um, now recently the orange thing popped off, so I have to get that. Here's my Heritage 2 Legend from Matt Jones. It's missing a bag, but I'll need to get that soon. Now I got a new cord for the Legend, Heritage 2 Legend. Um, <laughs> yeah, here's my Legend 2. This one's like the newest one in my whole collection. Um, as you can see, it's the newest one, and it has, this bag came off this one, but I put it on here, because I put the other one on the Classic 3, um, I still need to put the belt lifter on, um, I don't know when I'm going to do that, <laughs> I'm kind of lazy, um, anyway, oh, for, I almost forgot, here's my royal, I mean, ugh, oh my goodness, I can't speak, I can't talk. My Hoover Portable from like, I don't know, the 60s. Um, I'm not going to sell it because it's old. And If I sell both of the Hoovers, I won't have any Hoovers. And I'd like to have a Hoover. Um, they're still good. I mean, it's not like I don't like them. Um, here's the Hoover Elite. This one I'm selling. Um, <laughs> here's my Royal uh, 4000. Selling it. I might need to get a new cord before I sell it, or a new prong, or whatever. Here's my Roll 883. Really nice condition. Here's my Le Rexair 1937. Oh, and this is from 89. This is from about 2003. This is from the late 90s. This is from, I said, the 60s. This is from 37, the Rexair, with its attachments. And there's my, um... My Premier Spic Span, which doesn't work because it has no cord or say, or switch, but it's from 1929. The oldest actual vacuum I have, but the oldest working one is my Rexair. Here's the hose I'm going to give the 56 Ford. Um, anyway, off to this stuff. I decided to actually like test the motor, like how fast it would spin with the with the Lexan and then with the metal fan so I'll just show you don't tighten that too tight don't want to get stuck or anything anyway so here's the Lexan see how like just watch how fast it'll spin oh it's too high um here I gotta hold that up That's how fast it spins. I need to take this off anyway. Just a second. There. Oh, here's the armature. Apparently, the armature is plastic. They even changed the they they they, they added they added more plastic to everything. Like I don't understand when they trans when they trans was it transitioned from the Legend Two to the G Three. They added more plastic. I don't know why. Even the armature is plastic. Anyway, here's the metal fan. If you notice, it spins faster than with the Lexan fan. This is one of the reasons why I want to put a metal fan in a G series. And I've decided to go plan B. I've decided to give it another chance, putting a metal fan in a G series. Some of you might think that's crazy. Some of you don't care. 
But yeah, I would like to go plan B on that. I just, the crave for doing that is building up immensely. Oh, and here's the G3's motor itself. There's the plastic impeller. I have no idea why they went more and more plastic instead of keeping a metal impeller. Because the models previous to this one had a, the metal, the uh, armature fan was bigger and it was metal. Then they, sh they shrunk it down and made it plastic. See, this is the size of like the actual, the actual outer fan, and then here's the armature. So yeah, but I really want to get this in a G series really badly. I don't care if it like ruins the G series. At least I tried. G three, it did not ruin it. I just decided to part it out because uh, because I need G. What is it? Ugh, I can't speak. Sorry, guys. I need, uh, generation parts. My parents said... My parents wanted to know if I could take it apart so that, like, so that they have their own parts for their Centria 2. And it, they may not... Like, the colors may not match, but at least they have parts because they don't want to buy parts. So, like, my parents will have those parts just in case. Something, like, and if they need a new part on their Centria 2. I was glad to help. I mean, I never really used my Generation 3 that much anyway. But hopefully, when I get another one, I'll probably use it more. And I'm really looking for a G4 and an Ultimate G. Those are like the two G... 3G models I'm looking for. G3, G4, and Ultimate G. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, and this is the Matt, the metal fan from Matt Jones, as you can see. The fans I grind down with a the file about a quarter centimeter, as you can see. And then here's the front. I filed that down a teeny tiny bit just so it's smooth. Um. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, here's my six-inch bench grinder. Anyway, thanks for watching.